quick tour of the shed. Nothing's changed much. Net curtains at the doors and the windows, vice versa. Clock on the wall. Don't use that currently, it's too damn warm. Kettle's on, so that's good. Bit of toast in the toaster. Now, what we've got here, I use a aqua roller and a galley foot pump to. Using the tap. If the water gets cut off here, I can always take the aqua roll on, fill it up at home. Let's have a quick tour. It's, we've got some wood storage here for the winter, although summer's not here yet. Three of the beds, we've got potatoes. Been putting some wood chips in. Helps hard any flooding actually. That's nice to walk on. Some of these raised beds have been repaired. As you can see the greenhouse is still to be done. But the rhubarb is coming right on. Blueberry not so much. Let me take a view from here. The gooseberry bushes are doing really well this year. I say this year, it's the first year. There's some wood chips to go down the bottom and we need to do something about the glazing on the greenhouse. But I've put wood chips down here as well. It's quite nice to walk on. They don't look bad. I've got plenty of timber and this needs cleaning up. I'm not wood chipping this, I want to clean this up because I do quite like it. And we've put an apple tree in. The rhubarb we put in in the winter started to come on over there. This is, is a, I think these are the blueberries from the winter time and an apple. And the daffodil bulbs we put in have thrived. We've got some cow manure, so we're still in progress. Now the next plot, we made a start with trees, however, as you can see this is a major challenge. We've got so much stuff that's buried, such as rubble sacks and even a fence. So this is going to be a long project. However, it was all like this. Now this end is like this, so we'll get there. These sheds will probably come down. We might put an orchard in, away from the tree. Because there's a lot of wasted light there. But uh, yeah, plenty to do.